Are you looking to add a buy tickets link to your website? Here at SimpleTix, we have several options for you to choose from. In your SimpleTix dashboard, head on over to the Embed feature. There you'll find our first two options, the button, which is basically a small buy tickets button you can see like right here, for example. And when you click on it, the checkout page will pop up right there on the website for you. So you can go ahead and click on your tickets and continue the checkout process. The second option is the direct embed. And that is basically a small checkout that um, appears on your website, as you can see here. So it takes up a little bit more real estate with things, but definitely um, much more eye-catching and, and easier to use there that way. So you can click on tickets. And as you purchase, again, it's all within the website and you're not redirected to go anywhere with that one. We also have customization options. So you can change the text. So if you don't want it to say get tickets, uh, if you want to change the button color to something with more of your branding, perhaps. So for example, on this one here, you can see at the top, they've changed the color and changed the text. It's a little bit more appropriate for their particular event. As far as the process, you simply select the type that you want, and you'll see the code appear at the very bottom here. And you have a couple options. You can email it to your website designer, so they can go ahead and set that up for you. If that's you, you can simply copy it, and then go ahead and just paste it onto your website, and it'll be all set up for you. Now, what do you do if you have lots of events per month? Then you would use our calendar widget. In order to find that, just go up to the Settings tab, and then over to the calendar widget feature down here. There you'll see two options to choose from. The first one would be the pin board. Now let's take a look at an example of that. So here we have a, a movie event. And as you can see, they've gone ahead and just listed all of their events out with the buy tickets link. And it has a nice presentational view of each one. So they get them all on, this, on the one page there. And when you click buy tickets, once again, it pops up right there for you inside the web page um, for the quick, easy use for a purchaser. You have a couple options there for the pin board. You can do, you can select the next 50 events, or you can just do by the month, whichever one you want to choose. And then we have the monthly option, which is basically the more traditional version of a calendar. So as we can see on this website here, I'll just scroll down to the bottom. And you'll see they've got their calendar set up. So you can clearly see the day of the week and the date on there. And also notice that each of the events are a different color. So it's really easy to navigate things. And as is always the case with our other uh, setup of widgets, once you click on it, you'll have the checkout page appear right there for you. Um, so it's all done on the website. As far as copying the code, it's exactly the same. You just select the type that you want. Let's say I want to do display by month. I've got my code right there. Email to your colleague or copy yourself and go ahead and put those on your website and start selling.